5.2 Grinding, Cutting and Slicing Equipment Crushing Roll This is a diagram of a crushing roll. Crushing roll have two or more heavy cylinder revolve toward each other at a differential speed. Dry feet enter from the top of this equipment and the particle feet are nipped and pulled through the roll experiencing a compressive force which crush them. The throughput rate and the feet size are determined by the roller length, diameter and speed of the rotation and also need. An overload compression spring protects the roller surface from damage but hard foreign bodies should not be allowed. Hammer mill A high speed rotor with hammer swing in a circular motion inside a closed casing containing a bigger plate. Feet pass into the action zone where hammer drive the material against the breaker plate. Reduction is due to impact forces, but attrition forces also play a part under choke feeding condition. Hammer are replaced by cutters or bars for fibrous material, vegetable matter and sticky materials. This attrition mill. There are two types of this attrition mill, which is single disc mill and also double disc mill. Single disc mill. This is a diagram of a single disc mill. Single disc mill consists of a rotating disc and also fixed disc. The feed passes into a narrow gap between a high speed rotating groove disc and the stationary casing of the mill. The gap is adjustable depending on the feed size and product requirement. For the double disc mill, this is a diagram of the double disc mill. It consists of two rotating discs that rotate in opposite direction, giving a greater degree of shear than that in the single disc mill. The disc also carries stud metal projected from the disc, which aid disintegration to the feet. Burn mill or plate mill. This is a diagram of a burr mill. It consists of two circular stones that are mounted on a vertical axis. The upper stone, which is often fixed, has a fit entry port and the lower stone are rotating. The fit material pass into the gap between the upper and the lower stone and it is subjected to the shearing force. If both stone rotate, it will be in the opposite direction. It is used in wet milling of corn for the separation of starch gluten from the hull. Ball mill. This is a diagram of a ball mill. Ball mill consists of a ceramic or metal ball container that can rotate. It also might have screen for product outlet channel. The larger size feet will enter the ball mill and the cylinder will start to rotate. After a fixed period of time, the smaller size product will be discharged from the ball mill. There are two types of forces that resulted in size reduction which is shear and compressive force. Ball of smaller size will give a better contact surface area while ball of larger size will give a larger compressive force. If a speed of the ball mill is low, then the shear force will predominate. If the speed of the ball mill is high, the compressive force will predominate. And if the speed of ball mill is too high, the center of the force will exist and there will be no grinding occurred. The speed that is suitable is 75% of the critical speed. Critical speed is the speed that the ball start to experience centrifugal force. At extremely high speed of the ball mill, centrifugal force is equal to gravitational force. 
roller mill. This is a diagram of a roller mill. It can be one or several set of roller. So the reaction is by compressive force and the reaction ratio is normally below than 5. Particle size range is around 10 to 10,000 mm. Obtainable size range is 30 mm and detectable on human tongue is around 25 mm. It is widely used for the milling of wheat and refining of chocolate. For example, in this picture, we have 5 roller that rotates. The feet will be placed on the bottom side of the roller and it will be crushed 